officially 2022. So first Monday of the new year, I got back from my trip last night and wow, I am tired. I think I passed the point of ice rolling helping me. Welcome to another weekly vlog. I promise I'm not gonna vlog as I ice roll. I know it's annoying. I say that as I'm doing it. My tree is still up. That's going down this week. I have my coffee and my creamer. I actually really like this stuff. Today is Monday. I got back last night from our New Year's Eve trip, which we were just booked and busy. Let me tell you. Look at this. Beautiful. I'm just really tired. And then Friday, I live again and I go to LA for the week. This weekend is Dawn's birthday. And then I'm recording, I think, like 15 episodes. So I have a lot to prep this week. I have a lot to do. I'm getting into my new year routine with all of my goals that I'm so excited for. If you guys have not already, go listen to my two last podcast episodes. The one with Doug, it's really motivating. The one with Molly is very healing and we're talking about like shitting yourself in the new year and expecting too much and whatever. I definitely wanna get back on an early morning routine because that makes me feel really good. My recording weeks in LA are like so exhausting and I don't wanna overdo it this week and then go into a birthday weekend and whatever. So anyways, back, I'm gonna get some stuff done this morning and then I don't have Pilates till 11.30 because all of the classes are booked and waitlisted and that's what happens in the new year, which is great. Love that people are joining, but uh, I want my classes back, you know? I just got to Pilates, I'm about to walk in. Most of the time when I'm traveling, just because I travel so often, I force myself to like book an early morning workout the next morning and just kind of get back into my routine. It has been a crazy few weeks and now I'm back. Like I might fall asleep in the middle of this workout class. I go to Shine Hot Pilates. You guys can use code Join Kenzie for your first class free. Really fun. I've showered, gotten back from my workout, I ran a few errands. I just need a really cozy, Lazy day. Well, not lazy, but like working for my laptop. I just ordered a sandwich off DoorDash. I'll have my DoorDash link below. But yeah, I just got a harvest salad, which is pretty much always my go-to. And then I'm going to get my laptop out, do a few things, probably take an espresso shot. And I just am like so looking forward to a cozy night in and reading a book. Like that is all I want right now. Good morning guys, it is now Tuesday. I just got coffee with my dad. We normally go every Monday morning, but this we went on Tuesday. I didn't really vlog yesterday because I was so exhausted. I think just the holidays in general, like I'm having such a hard time even waking up. Like I woke up at like 6.45 and you would have thought it was I hadn't slept in seven days. One of my goals and things I wanted to do in the new year is make my house, like the downstairs area, something that I actually really want to be in. I actually hate all the furniture. I'm never happy with it. It's 30 degrees right now in Texas. I'm not doing well. Okay, so I don't like my furniture and I want my house. I feel like it's just such a waste to like have this house that I own and not actually like the downstairs and like spend time there. I already got new bar stools and they're like brown, dark brown velvet. I'm not obsessed with them, like they're so cute. So I love those. And then yesterday I was looking on CB2 and Crate and Barrel and I found a bunch of stuff that I really like and ruggable for a rug. And I think I'm just gonna pull the trigger, but I do need to go see these things in person today. And then I also need to measure and just make sure. So today we are furniture shopping. I'm gonna work out later. It's really cold, so now I'm like, I was gonna go on a run. I'm considering starting, listen to this, I'm considering starting Couch to 5K again. I'm not a runner, I don't like running. If you're trying to get into a workout routine, you need to do a workout that you absolutely love. I absolutely love hot Pilates. It's not a pain for me to go. I look forward to it, it's my favorite workout. It's the hardest workout and I just love it. And I'm not a big runner, but recently I've been feeling like running. And also, I think I also just wanna challenge. In doing couch to 5K, I'm like training for something. I grew up playing sports, so I think I just want the like feeling like I'm going to practice and like getting better at something, I don't know. So I've been considering becoming a runner again. Um, I did it last year during 2020. That's not even last year anymore. That's insane. And I don't love running, but maybe this is the time that I love it. I think I'm just gonna start the app and do it. If you guys don't know, it's an app and you can like, it gives you like a running plan to be able to run a 5K, which by the way, like that's my point. Like I can run a mile, maybe. I am not a runner. Um, and also Fitz can do it with me and I feel like that would be fun. So I think I am gonna do that today, especially cause I'm not going to Pilates. Woo, I am cold. Okay, 
I am not going to shame myself for it being the first year week of the year and me not having like a ton of energy. I am only in town four days this week and I have been busy busy and next week is my busiest week. We are prioritizing rest. I'm taking care of myself. I'm having a lot of alone time because I'll be very overstimulated and I just need to get some stuff done. I am going to see my friends um, like tomorrow and the next day I think. Alright so this is the vibe um, when I walk in. I don't have all the accessories or anything. But I would like a little gallery wall. I think that would be cute. I would do all black and white and just get photos from like friends and stuff. See, I feel like this is what you do when you're married, but like I still want that. I think it would be cute. I like this little, um, is it a credenza? This little entry table. I need something to like set my bags on and you know, have a candle burning, whatever. So when you walk up my stairs where that white mirror is, that's where this would go. And then, how do I get to? Okay. So this is the crate and barrel couch. It's an 88 inch, which. The problem with like most of the couches that I want just in general is the fact that they're always too big. So 88 inch might be a little bit too big. I need to um, actually measure that today. I believe mine right now is 80, but like what's eight more inches, you know? I have this cute rug from Ruggable that I really like. And then I love these chairs. I believe they're actually CB2. And I like that they're beige instead of white. I feel like it just makes the place warmer. I want it to be like chocolate brown, cream is beige. Like that's kind of my vibe. Maybe I'll add in some color here and there. I like that rug. I'm not positive about it. Um, I obviously have like my white table. I'm going to eventually replace all those chairs. And then I have my custom art. So it's going to be fun. I actually don't think this rug is going to fit the vibe now that I'm really considering it. I did think about like a black and white checkered one. I don't know. Honestly, guys, rugs are so difficult. I also need to get lighting replaced finally. So uh, this is what I have that I'm looking for. And oh, a coffee table also. I need to get a new one. So hopefully I find one at CB2. All right, let's go shopping at CB2 together. This was before I decided I was going to voice over these clips. I apologize for um, the shaky camera work. Anyways, this is the best CB2. Knox Henderson. Absolutely love it. Um, some pillows. Love that. I walked in. I found the couch. This is the couch of my dreams. I've always wanted a sectional. I'll talk about that in this vlog. But I've never found one that would fit. And this one actually seems like it would fit. It's a game changer. This is the couch. Um, Audrey Peters gave a raving review when I DM'd her once I realized on her Instagram story, because I'm creepy, that that was the same couch. Um, and she gave me a raving review. Here I am trying out different pillows. Um, we love good chocolate brown. I love that it's really in everywhere. Another couch. I wouldn't get this couch ever, but I think it's nice. It's a cute one. Um, I love this lamp, and I've loved this lamp for so long. I have nowhere for this lamp, but I love it. Here I am going to, you know, my favorite place, the kitchen dining area. I found some plates. I'm doing a whole table placement thing. It's on its way. I found some, you know, napkin holders. What was that? Napkin holders? Um, we'll get to that in future vlogs. Found joy of cooking. I said, yep, me too. I get that. Looked at this little napkin holder and it made me think I need a $2 million home to fit everything that I want. By the way, um, the chocolate brown counter height parcels, those are the ones I got. They're coming. They're being delivered in February. Here's some more kitchen stuff. I love a good like darker marble moment. I actually think I want these for my dinner parties. What do we think about these? I think they're really cute, okay? Very classic, if you will. Um, these chairs, considering for the kitchen, just maybe like a more traditional vibe. I don't know, I'm all over the place. This is more of a coffee table that I want because it's darker and I want more dark. This isn't exactly what I want, but I want something darker. I also love these chairs potentially for the kitchen, but I think it's too much like cloth. We'll see. I also love this chair. I love green. It's not my story for this house, but I love it. I also love this vibe. Can someone tell me where to get a fake fireplace like this? Like the mantle? Where do I get that? Like I need that actually exactly for my house. More chair options for the kitchen table. This is the entry table that I'm getting that I'm very excited for. I think it's just going to be a great thing. This was kind of cool uh, until I noticed that it was um, $2,000. So it wasn't cool anymore. Here are some bookshelves. Um, this is nothing that I'm going to get. I was just kind of looking around. And here I am saying hello. Um, moving over. I love a good poof. I don't have a space for one, I don't think. But I love one. Different kind of coffee table. Here I am back with the couch that I feel spiritually drawn to. Okay, don't I look like I belong on that couch? And then I saw some other chairs. So give me some ideas for kitchen chairs. I actually lost when I gonna go get chilies for lunch, but I came back um, to measure 
And so one of those pieces is 60 inches. Backstory, I really want a sectional. Sectionals are my favorite couches. I actually spend time on them. I don't like a sofa. Like, I'm not going to sit there, you know? And I just knew that I kind of had to have a sofa. So I was like, I mean, it'll be okay. I'll survive. But it's not what I wanted. Anyway, so one of those, like, arms is 60 inches. I was just doing the measuring. It's a little bit bigger. But, like, I think I can make it work. And I'm just going to treat this as a window and just close this off because that's what's really causing problems. Hi, girl. That's what's really causing problems for me. Hi. Uh, Lish the camera. Coco, it is no longer Christmas. Sadly, we've got to take this off, girly. Stick with the times. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, I would have that here. I would potentially keep the coffee table for the time being because I haven't. That one I'm obsessed with. I do want darker ones. These chairs are gonna be darker, the ones that I showed you guys in the vlog. And then I hate the ghost chairs. All those are going. I just haven't decided what I wanted. And I think I need to have everything in the house that I like. Oh, you know what? I do need to measure for where that. So I think the kitchen chair is gonna be the last things that I replace just because it's I just want to see everything in here and make sure it's not like too many like browns or too many whatever I am gonna also replace this chair Um, but the couch really is the main thing I want to get in here first If I really wanted to I could just move the couch down. I could keep the love sack there I don't know we're gonna figure it out that fireplace is Really just too small honestly for this space so I don't think I'm gonna keep it but the thing is, we're going to have office space with the Okine, and my family has, like, obviously a huge family, so we have a lot of houses around Dallas, so I can always just, like, move it to someone else's house for the time being. Um, so, what do you think, girl? You're so good. You never cause problems with my furniture. You are so good. It is so hot. I have the heat on. So, anyways, I need to get ready. I just moved some laundry over. I have, like, unpacking to do today, things I just don't want to do. I am... For this being the first week of the new year when I am normally like queen of motivation I'm not feeling naturally motivated. So we're just gonna we're gonna push through I have my first laser appointment today, and I'm terrified So we're gonna measure for this so it's 52 inches Oh, it's kind of perfect 52 inches. That's fine Like it's a little bit thick, but it feels fine and honestly I just want to be able to put like bags like obviously these things are not be here, but like things there and then it's 30 inches tall. All right, so I actually did my makeup a little bit. It took about two minutes, but I did something. Changed into sweatpants, and then I'm going to throw my coat on. I'm actually going to get chilies for lunch with a new friend that I made on TikTok. Guys, I am just so exhausted throughout the day. And then come 9 p.m., when I'm like, all right, I'll go to bed, I'm wide awake. And I don't know how to fix it. I mean, look at how cute, right? I'm gonna take the dog out and then I'm heading to Chili's for lunch. Just got some work done, answered emails. Just doing boring stuff this week. Like all of my work this week is episode prep and emails. So I'm sorry, I'm trying to make things a little bit more uh, snazzy. Maybe I'll cook from home tonight. I really don't feel like doing that, honestly. Like I'm telling you guys, everyone else's vlog this week is gonna be so productive. And mine is like, I am dying, so. Also, it is my time of the month coming up soon before anyone tries to say I have COVID. I don't, I just had COVID. Um, but this happens to me like every month, so. Guys, absolutely no one will be surprised. But I'm at Chili's for lunch, all right? Some people aren't as lucky to live the life that I do. Going to Chili's, all right? Thank you. Everyone can get over there. So beautiful. Um, my outfit right now is atrocious. Okay, first off. My bedding still isn't dry, so here we are. Second, my sweats are, very, are like kind of short for my Uggs. I threw on a different crew. They don't match. Nothing matches. And here we are, okay? Um, I did remember that I need to take my vitamins because I am iron deficient, which would explain the energy levels. All of that for nothing because I still had leftover spray tan on, so I could have just stayed home all right we are turning today around i'm still tired but we're at sprouts i'm gonna get food to make dinner i'm gonna go take a nice hot bath change into pajamas get things together my lip gloss is messed up and then i'm going to read or on the next day i'll be more exciting because i'll see people but it looks like i've been crying the most beautiful place in the whole wide world
I have tonight and then two more days and then I leave and I feel like I got a lot of food. Um, I'm making a soup tonight that I found online, so I'm excited. Kale, chicken, oh, I got one of these meals pre-made just for whatever meal I wanted. Carrot, cantaloupes for snack, that just looks really good. Salmon, which I just put on the air fryer. Hummus, avocado, celery. I had to get long green rice. I got candy, which I never get. They just looked so good. And then these are dried California pears. Annie's super cheesy cheddar bunnies and pretzel crisp for a snack. And then also these little immunity shots. You know, let me try to be honest. Eno is dear to us at this level, but it's super easy to follow. <laughs> Okay, I made dinner. I did a big, I did a quick clean of the house. It's feeling incredible. This is a soup that I made. It's a chicken and rice soup. It looks absolutely incredible. Onions, garlic, obviously saute those. Add in water, chicken stock, and then chicken. Let the chicken boil, take the chicken out. Add in carrot, celery, a few other things, I think. Shred the chicken, put the chicken back in. And then you add spinach. I added kale because I just prefer kale. But anyways, it looks so good. I'm glad I did it though. Because if I didn't... Dinner was so freaking good. I have my little um, recess drink and got another one. I'm feeling better. It is just so crazy like how affected by my cycle I am. We are organizing vitamins. This is what happens. So much to look forward to in life, you know, like woo. Just kidding, but. Okay, last night I finished the book, which is my first book of 2021, Good Morning Monster. It was really good. Jackie Oshry, I think, is who recommended it, but it was really good. It's definitely heavy, definitely trigger warning. The therapist who's just sharing five different cases that she had had. Very fascinating. Again, it's kind of really sad at the same time, so. Anyways, if you're kind of in the mood for that kind of read, it's nonfiction. Um, I really. Good morning, guys. I am in an incredible mood because I actually have energy today. You know, I packed my vitamins and I just took an iron supplement last night and I feel incredible. Um, I just made some coffee. It's currently 7.30. I'm about to take the dogs out and then go to Pilates. Need to get gas, and I was, last night I was like, it's okay, I'll get in the morning. Why would you ever leave that to like, your morning self? Like why? I should've just gotten gas. It's also 30 degrees here, um, so I don't wanna get gas. I don't wanna get gas at all. Anyways, for today's workout, I'm doing Pilates. It's a hip hop themed class, which I love. It's all about the music, okay? If it's good music, it's a good class, and I stand by that, so. That soup last night was so good. You all need to make it. The way Fit sleeps on my bed is he sleeps like, he gets about 75% of the bed and I get about 25% and I'm just stuck there. And he seriously has it. I'm not kidding, like the entire bed. I got out of bed this morning and I looked at where he was sleeping. I had this much, so. Maybe that's my sleeping problem, dude. No, I don't have a sleeping problem. I just, Aritzia crew and then I'm wearing a sat underneath. Just finished my coffee. And we're going to Pilates. Bye. They can seem sometimes fading because. You All right, I just got out of the shower. I was gonna blow dry my hair this morning into like a blowout, but I'm gonna style it tonight. I feel like less heat, air dry. I don't know. Changed into my outfit for today. Doing a really easy little little bit of makeup for a little get ready with me, but. I wanted to talk to you guys about something. This is something I talk about with friends all the time, especially lately, regardless of like having a following of any sort. People can relate to this, but I'm like, I'm so tired of walking on eggshells all of the time. I feel like in the past year or so, I have just become kind of like a shell of myself. Like I never cared what people thought about me before. And it's not necessarily that I care what people think about me as much as it's like, Oh my god, you can get canceled for anything these days. Like, you make one wrong step, you make one wrong move, you say you like apples instead of oranges. Like, something so small, and people literally pick apart and attack everything you do. So, I think I just became afraid of that, and then also of like getting canceled or whatever, that I just like stopped like fully being me, or like I just watch everything that I say like way too much. 
I am not talking about controversial things when I'm referring to this. I mean anything. Like, you can't do anything these days without someone ripping you apart. For example, and this girl was not even trying to be rude, I don't think, but it's like, can I just enjoy my life? I posted a post about, like, being, like, if you want to start reading in 2022, here's some recs. Here's some books to, like, get you started. I made the list based on books that I give to people who are not big readers because I think that they're going to like them. Also, my audience is a bunch of people who are like me. Like, there are a lot of girls who have similar interests, read similar books, whatever. It's not that deep. And I get this message from this girl. Again, like, she's being so nice. Like, it's honestly not even about her. It's just the principle of, like, I cannot have anything. And she was like, hey, girl, like, love your videos. Again, so nice. Not an attack towards her at all but she's like are you sure you don't want to read these books like this is very anti-feminist and reading romance novels are very anti-feminist and reinforces all these stereotypes and like blah 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 so like, here's a book of, list of books you should read and i'm like can i not even have like my number one favorite hobby to do but it's basically just that like every single thing that anyone does is picked apart whether you're on the internet or not people are just so hyper sensitive and it's not even the people who should be the ones who are hyper sensitive nine times out of ten anyways i'm just done walking on eggshells i'm gonna be myself if you don't like me that's fine if you if i say something that offends you or that you don't agree with you know what when someone says something i don't agree with on the internet you know what i do nothing because we are all supposed to have different opinions and different things that we like and different interests like i don't care if you don't like Taylor Jenkins read as like a novelist like I'm just giving the book example because that's the most recent it is so exhausting I've just lost I feel like I've just like lost myself and at the end of the day I had this big revelation of like I am doing and not doing and not just being myself I'm losing myself so many things like to appease internet trolls because it's normally not people who like really follow along but it's like I'm doing so much to appease these internet trolls and nothing to like please myself. Like my new gauge is I am only doing things to make myself proud. No one else, my opinion of myself is the only one that I really care about. Obviously I'm going to mess up. Like if a friend calls me and is like, okay, that wasn't cool. That's different than people on the internet. But this like culture that we have created in the past year is so unhealthy. It's so bad. I'm putting on more makeup than I expected. Let's know. Like, I want to be at tables all the time with people who don't think exactly the same way that I do. One, because if you just surround yourself with people that think the exact same way as you, similarly, we are all going to be wrong in ways. So how are you ever going to grow? How are you ever going to learn? How are you ever going to be an interesting person if you can't talk to someone that you don't agree with? Like, that's crazy. But also, like, just for growth. Anyways, with that being said, like, I'm done trying to, like, please everyone on the internet I have my people and I love you all. And again, the girl who's in the comment, it, well, this isn't about her at all. Like that is like such a small example, but it's like, again, of like, I can't do anything. But again, it's like, I have a hobby. I like doing this. Uh, I'm so tired of people like telling me what I shouldn't should like. Um, and I think it's a good life lesson that I've learned in the past year because I wasn't always like this. And my barometer, from now on is if I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of myself. And that's good. I'm not doing it for the internet trolls. I'm doing it to make me proud. But obviously I don't make mistakes and that's okay. So I can't really handle it anymore. Anyways, again, I'm not talking about controversial things. I'm not talking about like crazy intense things. I'm talking about the day to day of like every single thing. And you know what? I'm like, these people who are picking people apart, like do they have jobs? Genuinely. Like, do you have a life, anything? I don't know. And also, I just could never imagine, like, watching someone on the internet and thinking that, like, my opinion of them and what I see that's, like, 1% of their life is, like, the truth or, like, what's happening or, like, my opinion of someone. You know what's always kind of a red flag with people with me? And I have friends who say this all the time, but, like, people who are like, well, I just have a really good judgment of character. And it's like, well, maybe you and that person just don't vibe. That doesn't mean that that person is, like, a bad person. And I find more often than not, people who say that are actually just, like, really, like, socially insecure. And I've said it. Like, I, we've all said it. But it's like, I don't know if that's true. Like, we all can get along with different people. And, like, just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that they're a bad person. Um, so, yeah, in this year, I just want to be doing things that are, like, making myself proud um and not trying to please people on the internet and losing myself in the process 
Um, you're also gonna like attract your people in that. Um, I'm gonna put mascara on now, and then we're gonna go downstairs and get to work. I'm gonna measure again for that couch and get it. I talked to Audrey Peters, who has the same couch. I realized on Instagram today, she gave me a raving review with dogs because her um, best friend's dog comes over a lot. Anyways, that is the couch I want, so I just need to make sure again measuring wise that it works and then i need to order the entry table too i ordered these for my mom so my mom's an interior designer but gotta get that done all right i'm working i have texas country playing it's what i always have update on my home situation these two things i'm gonna have for the time being i'm not gonna keep them eventually things will go to my garage i'm sure eventually we'll move some stuff to the okine office so i'm gonna have this couch minus this piece it's gonna be a little bit smaller i love this rug from ruggable unfortunately it's on back order um and then i'm gonna have like this is my i have this coming basically i want to get some pieces figure out what i like see it all together and then i'll eventually replace the coffee table and then i'll probably get a chair here and then i'll replace these chairs right here so this area will be a sectional that will all go all the christmas decor will obviously be gone and it's just going to be really cozy also on baba bar last night i ordered this rug but it's it says kep on it my initials um if you guys have a nickname like kinsey is technically my nickname so i never know what to do like mep or kep but anyways um, I got that and then I'm just deciding like pillows and things like that. So anyways, I don't love this right now just because I'm gonna get rid of this stuff But once I have more of it, I'll be able to un like understand better I did love this but at the end of the day, I will just use a sectional 3,000 times more like I am such a sectional girl. So I need that just ordered this. I love this little candle light match thing from CB2 I love this entry table. It might be too big for my space but I'm gonna try to make it work. So I'll keep y'all posted. Update, getting a little bit tired today, again. Just heated up some soup for lunch. I'm gonna be on my laptop for the next probably four hours. I also am ordering all my stuff for CB2 today. Today is a very boring day on my laptop. So I will talk to you guys later tonight. I'm going to Bone House with Peyton, so. I'm just getting stuff booked, I'm sorry. I feel bad that this vlog is like not crazy exciting. I just have been, off this week um also if you have pmdd you know this like i feel like every few months I have a really bad one but like the week before like your cycle essentially you just are like so out of it so down so tired and here we are just so happened to be the first week of the year when i was really excited for you know things my first week of the year where i'm really like in my routine and doing my stuff will be when i get back from LA. so you know whatever i know i've talked a bit about like my goals on this channel recently and like Coco, I am trying to film. Like, she's really good. Do you want to? Okay. Come here. You can just sit right here and you're going to be fine. This dog is crazy. Guys, can you believe she's six now? Isn't that wild? Does anyone else's dog has, have this much attitude? So, I know I shared, like, some goals and some things that I just want to do in the new year. Coco, I swear to God. Such as, I really, like, my dream is to collaborate with a, with a brand and come out with a cowboy boot. Don't know what brand, I don't know what line, but, like, that is my dream. Obviously, launching my clothing line this year, which is really exciting. We got our first samples back a few weeks ago, um, which is really, well, I guess, like, two weeks ago. That is exciting. I just have, like, a lot of things that I want to do. And then it got me thinking about how intentional you have to be, like, almost, like, curating your dream life. And how so often people find themselves, and I found myself this way when I'm not, like, intentional with what I'm doing and who I'm with and, like, how I'm spending my time, who I'm even following, like, whatever, who I'm consuming content from. I, I think it's just really easy to, like, let life go by really passively and then look at other people and be really jealous or, like, oh, my God, well, they get to do this or, like, oh, well... I mean, people look at influencers all the time and don't realize how much work it is and think like, oh, must be nice, take an Instagram photo, whatever. But they don't see like, obviously like the 10 years before it took or like, you know, in any other industry, what it might be. But just on curating my dream life, I think I did create or like, I'm not create and create this, but like I did achieve or get to like my dream career. I built my dream career. Um, and then I looked around and I was like, this is not my dream life at all. Like I really didn't like, what I was doing, where I was at, how I was spending all my time, whatever. So then in 2021, I feel like I really built my dream life. And I was just thinking about overall, like, 
Obviously, I love career stuff and I love achievements. I'm an Enneagram 3. I'm an overachiever. Like, I love that stuff. But also, I think it's really important to, like, be intentional with, like, creating your dream life and not just the career. The career is very important. I think that's what you spend most of your time doing. But also, like, curating your dream life and, like, where do you want to spend your time? What kind of people do you want to be around? What kind of person do you want to be um, what relationships do you want? What do you want your relationships to look like? What do you want your family life to look like? Like things like that. I think just being really intentional. And like if you want to do something too, this is a conversation I have with friends all the time who are in a career and they're already unhappy. They're unhappy and that's not ultimately what they want to do, but essentially it's like the safer option or you know there's more stability or whatever it is and while on one hand i totally get that and i i understand like it's a privilege to even be able to try to do something else or you know have the something to back you like uh, a savings account or something but i will just say i think in your 20s it's only going to be harder for the most part to start what you want to do because you're going to have added responsibilities you're going to have your life is gonna get bigger, things are gonna get crazier, like you'll probably get married, have kids, maybe you won't, but like as time goes on, you gain more responsibility. Like right now, this is something I say all the time, I'm like we have the least amount of responsibility that we probably ever will have right now, unless like you don't want kids and have a family, which is fine. Um, but even then, like as you, even then though, when you grow in your career, you get more responsibility. So now I just think like really think about how you want to live your life and what you want to do and the relationships that you want to do. Nothing in my life has really happened like fully by accident. Yes, you'll meet someone and they'll change so much of your life or you'll meet this group of friends or you'll get, you know, a promotion or like something crazy will happen career wise. And a lot of that is up to chance, but it's also up to a lot of work on the career end it's a lot of preparation and then on the life end it's a lot of like i think just knowing what you want and at the end of the day something i'm really trying to live by is i am here to make myself proud and that is kind of my barometer not in a way that is like super self-serving or like selfish it's not even that way it's just that like if i am doing things for other people then i'm not being true to myself and at the end of the day the number one thing I care about is being authentic and I want to make myself proud at the end of the day along with like obviously my family and things like that but we're like similar. So yeah, think about the dream life you want to curate and figure that out. Like right now, my, I'm not living my dream life this week, okay? And sometimes you have off weeks. Sometimes you're really struggling and you're just not feeling your best and that is okay, all right? Um, yeah, I could do an entire podcast episode even on like curating my dream life my dream career exactly what i did um i need to go because my actually kit keenan psychic is calling me all right we are in my closet the light bulbs are out those are getting replaced this week i need to pick an outfit for tonight but i think i'm also while i'm here gonna just like throw together some things for la i'm packing tomorrow i have been deep in episode prep also uh, it's dom's birthday this weekend so i'm flying there friday early um, so I'm flying in early for the weekend and I just booked so many reservations and things for next week So anyways gonna get some outfits together <laughs> The fact that I like haven't even moved my suitcase really I did unpack but like I'm so I don't know why I do this to myself my travel schedule Also, I did buy this guys from my newly subscription and another jacket and it's the cutest little pink puffer vest thing. I think I actually will Maybe bring that to LA. I honestly love this blazer because I love the fit. However, I've already worn it for recording. Okay, maybe I will just stick to my classic. I kind of want to do a video where I style all my outfits on Sunday and then I wear them throughout the week or even just like an entire styling my outfits for the week video. Sometimes I'll save outfits just to get inspo. All right guys, I'm ready to go meet Peyton finally, and sure enough, I'm finally getting my energy back. But I, first off, have had this coat in my closet for probably a year and a half. It's one, my favorite color. Two, it's like Western. There's Fringe here. It's from Revolve, it's House of Harlow. And it was in the back of my closet, and I guess I just forgot about it. I saw it today when I was planning outfits, and now I'm like, I cannot believe I don't wear this every day. It's my new favorite thing that I own. Jeans are Princess Polly, boots are vintage Harley Davidson, just cowboy boots. Shirt is unfortunately Brandy, um, and then this bag is at Balenciaga. So, we are off. 
We're going to Bowen House tonight, which I've actually never been to. It's like a Dallas fave. Everyone tells me how much I love it, and I looked it up, and it looks perfect. And I am starting a new series on Instagram where I try different espresso martinis around Dallas and write them with different guests. So we're going to do Peyton tonight, and then when I get back from LA, we're doing Sippin. Kat from Sippin in Dallas. I just call her Sippin because I think I'm funny. And then I'm just going to ask other like Dallas friends to do it. So if you guys know any Dallas creators... Request them on the IGTV. I'm also gonna do like TikToks and stuff pretty soon. My Starbucks will be gone. I only could drink this much. I also cleaned a little bit just now. I'm feeling good, okay? I just made coffee with my new mug. It's a Texas mug. How cute. So Peyton and I went to get dinner last night and then we ended up staying, we, we didn't leave until 10. So they probably hate us, but we were just catching up and we kept ordering things. I just made some coffee. I am getting ready for the day. I, I decided not to work out, so I only did two workouts this week. I was gonna go on a walk, but it's 30 degrees outside. So that just didn't happen. Um, I'm so looking forward to the week I get back from LA and I can just have like my routine back and honestly I'm just looking forward to being in Texas with a normal schedule and just staying here also I've just been making a lot of Dallas content lately and like that's what I really want to like focus in a lot on this year anyways my coffee I'm going on a podcast today my Christmas decor is going down I have to do all my laundry There's just a lot going on you know I'm going on busy blooming in 30 minutes cheers Guys, my decor is gone. It feels so empty in my house right now. Like, just throughout. I mean, no more garland. Oh, my God. So, I'm. it's just so bare and boring, which is why I'm so excited. Because eventually, that mirror will look very cute in an office for the O kind, right? We can use this chair for, like, whatever we need. Just The problem is that, like, it doesn't... It just stained so easily like I'm talking obviously that's like dirt but the other stuff like it could be water and it stains so like I did really like this like the couch from home threads if you don't have dogs but I just wouldn't recommend it even though like I love it incredible price um it just like didn't wear well gallery wall here of me and my friends which is kind of weird because people really do that when they're like you know married um and have families so you know, it's fine. I'm in my 20s. And then I'm going to have a cute little entry table there, which might be a little bit big for the space. But, um, you know, we'll see. It'll be okay. The thing that's so odd is this level is just, like, really annoying because there's so much space here. And it's like, what do you even do with this? You know, like, I could do a bar cart there, but then it feels cluttered, especially if I have something there. Um, it just, I don't know. It's, like, a very odd space. I don't know if I showed you guys this yet, but I got this in New York from Zara. It is like the most perfect cardigan sweater thing. I mean, it's so cute. I'm gonna like live in it when I go to LA tomorrow. How cute, I just got a text for a John and Betty's reservation and it feels right. Like I'm not gonna lie, me in LA these days, look at my spray tan or my self tan. Me in LA these days, it doesn't feel right. Like when I'm there, I feel like I still live there. Obviously I have a life there still, all my friends like I love going. I love LA. I'm not an LA hater at all. But it's just not me anymore. Like, I don't know how to describe it. The city, I don't know. I love going. I would rather be in Texas, though. I love seeing my friends. Obviously, I'm getting so much work done for the next week. But I will say, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, I don't know. But the thing that does feel right, my text from my John and Benny's reservations, all right? I also have been meaning to show you guys these new journals that I got from Miss Hannah Ashton herself. She's been on the podcast. If you guys like productive vlogs, entrepreneur, college, I mean, like, whatever it is, she's your girl, but she has the Dream Achieve line, basically, which has, like, a planner and just, like, a bunch of stationary stuff. Really great stuff. If you guys are trying to get into journaling, sorry that my dog will not stop. This is great. They have a daydreaming thing, a little positive words. Journal prompts, which I love if you are new to journaling. I mean, this dog is trying to ruin my life. If you need prompts, that's really helpful. Um, journaling is something that really positively benefits my life whenever I'm continuously doing it. Anyways, it's a really beautiful journal. So 
Be sure to check it out. Check out her channel. She's the greatest. I love both of them. Love the colors. You know what? Maybe I'll give one away. While we're here, since I have two, I'll give this one away to you guys. So all you have to do is follow me on Instagram and then TikTok and then comment below your Instagram handle and something you're looking forward to in 2022. And then you are entered to win this beautiful journal, which I did already take out of the wrapping um, about five minutes ago, so I'm sorry, but I will give you a beautiful journal. 2022, not Always set a timer when you are putting away laundry because it makes you go by so much faster and you stick to it. But I just threw a bunch of stuff over here that I'm planning on packing. My hair looks crazy, I look crazy. It's actually the most productive day I've had this week and I have so much energy. I actually just got so much packing done. I think this is the dress I'm gonna wear for Dom's birthday. It is my only outfit option. It's going to be cold there. I know, um, that's pretty much my only option. So I'm bringing my blue sweater, my brown coat that I found this week that I'm now obsessed with. I have my vest, I'm wearing another vest on the plane. Um, I need to pack the rest of my shoes. I actually think I'm gonna wear like my sneakers that I work out with um, on the plane. I kinda wanna get new ones too. I have my pajamas under here. Coffee number two, I'm gonna make some salmon as well. I just had therapy and I just got a lot of packing done and I'm feeling on top of it. I'm feeling good. I have this meeting in two minutes with Geneva. Surprise, I'm bringing back book club. So I'm actually just gonna have you guys read along with whatever book I think I'm doing in my real life book club because every time I post about it, you guys are like, I wanna read that. So we're gonna read Colleen Hoover's new book. It's starting on January 19th. So we'll do it mid-February. It'll be like the middle of the month. But it's in the Geneva chat, which is an app. And then we have a room. So just like click the link below. Um, and then in the books room, well, I'll make the book club room. And there's like the books room, okay? And then I'm recording for mood. And then I need to record this week's intro, outro, ad, send it in, and then shower off my tan, get ready. And I'm going to Barcelona wine bar with some friends that I haven't been able to see in probably like two months. So I'm actually really excited to see them today. Okay, speaking of books, The Simple Wild, I read that. I just listening to the Redheads today. And I know it was a 50-50 split. I will tell you guys, I am team Margo. I'm always team Margo, but I am team Margo on thousand percent. I read all three of those books in three days. The new one, I already pre-ordered it. I mean, I loved that series. Let me know what you guys think. I was absolutely obsessed. This is what I was gonna say. I can't take myself seriously until I take this self tan off. But for those of you guys who have been requesting an episode with someone who like works a more traditional like nine to five corporate path, next week we have Kim Johnson on who works at Geneva. She's like head of community, I think is her title, but she worked as head of community at Glossier and like community is essentially what built that brand. Anyways, corporate, we're doing resume tips. We're doing, I mean, we're talking a lot about building an online community and just a digital community in general and branding and things like that. But we're also going in to more of like a nine to five workplace kind of vibe. So, if you guys have been requesting that, I did it and I can do more. Um, just let me know who you want to me to record with. But all right, guys, I showered. I waited a full eight hours for my tan to develop, and I swear to God, like I have no color from it. I this has happened one other time. I used the Ashley Graham Saint Tropez tanner, which is my favorite tanner, but I have to sleep in it overnight, and then when I showered off in the morning, basically just do an extra over eight hours. I'm like so tan. But I did eight hours and I like I barely have any tan. So anyways, gonna have to re-self tan today after looking like that all day. Sweater, I don't remember where it's from. It's very cold, so I just want it to be warm. I do not remember where it's from at all. Coat is my favorite one from HM. I have these jeans on that are not jeans, these pants on that are Princess Polly. They have a slit on them, and then just Ugg. So this is the look. I'm like living for it. It's very me. I would definitely do a different top if it wasn't so cold. Um, but I just I love it, okay? My new shoes have arrived. I ordered these when I was in New York last weekend. And I mean, they're perfect. Dom said they were ugly and I just don't care. She also wore bunny ears one time as a fashion statement. Like exactly the ones when you think bunny ears. Yeah, that's what that was, that's what that was. So anyways, um, I love these. I think they're perfect and I'm very excited. I'm gonna wear them every day as actual shoes. How these get delivered so quickly i ordered new nespresso pods maybe four hours ago this just came in the mail it's a new capari ultra restore body butter i love capari lip glosses and their body products so i'm so excited it looks like it's gonna be like my new favorite product ever so i'll keep you guys posted 
Good morning, guys. I'm off to LA today. Coco. Um, I just ordered Chick-fil-A for breakfast. Here we go. I'm excited because I feel like I'm actually going to get back in the vlog swing of things. So next week's vlog is going to be so good. Anyways, I'm flying to LA today and then I'm there this weekend for Don's birthday and then all next week I'm working. So anyways, I will see you guys at the airport and then when we land in LA tonight, we're going to John and Vinny's. I mean, love this for me. Look who it is, guys. And look what shoes I'm wearing. Awesome, girly. No, I'm just kidding. Dom lied and just now and told me that she liked them because everyone else said they were cool. No, they're you know, all of my comments said that they were cool. Do, they, do, do I look like how everyone did their makeup in 2016? No, but look what palette she's using. So back to this. Wow, the lighting on this camera right now is really messed up. I, it's, be, it's because the lighting in here is... Um, I'm in LA. Film, you can film this way. When I have to film stuff, I film this way. Oh. Oh. Alright, so we're in LA. Tomorrow is Dom's birthday. I'm getting ready for prom, you guys. We're going to John and Benny's with some friends. We're not going to prom. <gasps> yeah, that's what's happening today. Um, got here, been editing this vlog pretty much all day. So Actually, I've been going to prom. Um, you guys like Dom's hair? These shoes are literally the best thing I've ever seen. Okay. By the way, Dom said they were ugly before, if you guys didn't catch that. No. But she wears also, ears, so. No. Like, shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut your sick mouth. I like what you wear. Secondly, you guys. Wait, can we, okay, that right now. Me of a story. I look like I play professional <laughs> women's basketball with this headband, but in a second, I'm about to wow the crowd. An athlete. Um, <laughs> you're so dumb. Guys, I thought about this and I was thinking about like my justification for buying these shoes because I was like, well, Dom did wear bunny ears, so like it's fine. I like them. Like, but it reminded me, do you want to tell the story of when a boy came over that liked me at my house and Dom was like playing tricks on him? She oh. literally- You guys, this is a beautiful thing. When a guy likes Kenzie, I don't know what she does or what it is. I've never had this effect on the male <laughs> species. They are like in love. It's not even- those are the only guys I give the time of day. They're not like, even oh in God. love, like obsessed. And I okay. and I knew as soon like day one we met this fool I was like oh it's yeah. it's over so he comes over to the house and I at this point it's a prank to me like when I know guys are in this mindset I can get them to cl climb the Eiffel Tower and they'll do it just for the sake of impressing Kenzie so I had ordered these bunny ears that are quite trendy if you know then you know. Anyways, I order these bunny ears, he comes to the house, and I have them on, and I'm like, oh my gosh, you should put these on to her man. I was like, oh my gosh, you should put these on. But like, we were just friends at this point. Like, it wasn't even, yeah. she was testing But the I bar. was testing. I was like, if he puts on these bunny ears, he's like all in. Like, he's all the way sold out for Kenzie. This man, barely any fight, pretends, almost pretends that there's a fight <laughs> to get these bunny ears on. And put where's is walking around the house. The only reason we don't have a picture is because when he called me taking a picture, that's when he took them off. Wait, you should try that next time I bring someone around. No, I think that's the new test. It's actually a new test. Guys, try it out. Get some bunny ears. Just order bunny ears from Amazon. They're about fourteen dollars. Very, they're very, they're actually very hard to get because they're very trendy. Oh, I can only imagine. How they're very, to get. Oh, yeah. very hard to get. Wow. She's wearing them as a fashion suit. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm not wearing this for Halloween. It's for fun. She did actually end up wearing them for Halloween though, so it did come in handy. And I left them at the boys' house too. Oh, you did? I did. I had to leave that era behind. You know what? I wonder. You know, I promise you, you know, I've seen them. I promise you. You know, I promise you, he has seen them at that house. He's seen them. I've not only seen them at that house. But Probably put them on. He put them on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that you I think they would have told me if that was the case. Well, we're gonna go to John and Benny's I don't really know how much more I'll play it. I'll vlog today because the vlog's already at like 50 minutes But uh, next week's vlog is gonna be so good. Hope you're really amping it up. People are really requesting some um, birthday footage I no, no, no. I think we should have bir birthday footage Um, And I just want to say you guys It's really I feel really cool when I meet you guys because I don't have my own YouTube channel <laughs> But I, oh, yeah, you know, have been meeting a lot of people recently. I've met, like, yeah. the majority of people that I've met have been like, Dom, I love you in Kenzie's video. <laughs> and I'm like, that means a lot to me. That's sweet. It really does. Oh, so, I, I didn't leave my keys at home. 
<laughs> so it just means a lot because I just love hanging out with you guys and it's been a long time. So we're ready for some debauchery. We're ready for some debauchery. We're ready for some debauchery this weekend. Hey, hey, if you got your red I've water, turned on hey, into a wild girl. If you got your red it's water, water, it's hey, crazy. Hey, hey, I used to like beg her to go out. Ranch water is to the air. Night. Ranch water to the air. Ranch water to the air. You know what we're talking about, actually? This is another good example. Um, like an hour ago, we were saying how Dom and I actually have absolutely nothing in common. So it's actually insane that we are best friends, do everything together. Um, but there are certain, I mean, mainly a lot of things you've liked of mine. But <laughs> country music, she listens to on her own. I never did that. That was her. She doesn't. She sends me all the time. Yeah, um, that did grow. That grew on. That grew on you. It really did. And then honestly, it's drinking, which I don't. I'm proud of the country music. I'm not really proud of what you've done to drinking, but. It is something. The drinking is like now. I'm like, why aren't we going to drink? Yeah, like normal. I, like it's my norm to just go out every night, and like Dom will be like once every month, and now it's like, awesome. well, I'm so now bad. every weekend. I'm like, you guys, what's the move? And everyone, I, I was like, like, what? I texted people. I was like, should we go to On the Rocks tonight? They were like, and your birthday tomorrow, and I was like, yeah, we're going back to back. Are we really doing On the Rocks tonight? You keep saying no. If you guys want to be sickos like me, I have a blood at 8 a.m. Okay. You have two choices. You can either be a man or you can be a bitch. He was like, you can be a man and look yourself in the mirror and say, although that your circumstances were tough and although you're in here now, it's up to you to change. If anybody's going to change, it's going to be you and no one's coming to save you. And that's like an important message for people. 